Hey everybody, it's your favorite girl, Tyler Nicole Taylor, TNT, if you love me. And today I am wearing two of my favorite things. This sweater that I got from H&M. I absolutely love this sweater. My mom probably can't stand it. And probably the people that follow me on social media probably can't stand it because this sweater makes a constant appearance. I don't care if it is cold, if it's hot. I don't know, I just freaking love this sweater. Like, I don't know, it's all big and yummy. I don't know, I just love it. Anyhow, and yeah, my friends, like I talked about earlier, these joints, I love these things. Anyway, I digress. That's not even what I came here to talk to you about today. Now, this is really more of a vent, I guess. A vent or a rant, if you will. Um, yeah, I want to know, where is everybody going to get Brazilian waxes? Like, for real. I have no idea. Okay, so listen. Here's the juice. Like, I used to live in Atlanta. I lived there for seven and a half years, and I just moved back to the DMV area last year. And down there, I used to get my uh, Brazilian waxes done at a place called... I think it was called Andrea's or something like that, Brazilian Wax. I used to go um, right down in Buckhead or, oh, and they had put a new location in Midtown. Perfect. So I used to either go to the Midtown or the Buckhead location to get my waxes. And they started like $35. Um, yeah, can we say affordable? And on top of that, everybody in there was like Brazilian. It was only one time that I had somebody that I think she was all black black girl but whatever everybody knew what they were doing but 35 dollars knew what they were doing now obviously uh, you tip you gotta tip i mean hello they all look me and stuff so you gotta tip them you don't want to just can you imagine can you imagine doing that can you imagine waxing somebody up real good and then they don't tip you that is trifling like come on you gotta have better home training than that but anyway yeah, so they were really bomb. Like, they used regular, you know, traditional wax. So they didn't, well, I don't know, they might have had sugar wax or they might have it by now, but I didn't get that. I got the regular, just plain old wax, but I always would go for Brazilian to get just everything off. Just take it all off. Like, I don't need no landing strip, none of that. And I'm going to tell you right now, my hair under my arms and my hair down there grows so much faster than the hair on my head. Like, I really wish that the hair on my head grew as fast as my hair down there. But whatever, what can you do? I think, well, I can't say that's probably everybody's experience because some people don't even really have to shave their underarms like that or shave their down there. But anyhow, like me, I, I don't have to shave my legs. I don't grow hair on my legs, thank God. But they're little short legs anyway, so even if I did have to shave them, it wouldn't be that serious. Just so you know, let me put things in perspective. I'm 4'11", so, but on my modeling resume, I'll be saying I'm 5'0", though. you got to give me that extra inch. I mean, come on. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so, back to Andreas in Atlanta. Bam. So, yeah, like, it started $35, and if it's, like, really bushy down there and you don't pre-treat before you get there, they might charge you an extra, what, 10 bucks. so it ends, it ends up being $45. Okay, fine understandable i still think that price is super reasonable and when i say they go in honey they go in like i mean pulling stuff back tweezing everything they don't play like you're gonna come up out of there super bare the skin gonna feel extra soft like it's gonna be amazing and they tell you how to take care of it exfoliating and all that kind of stuff like they're on point super on point and the staff there i have never in my life experienced a bad customer service experience with them at all like when they answer the phone when you come in when they service you they're all so nice like they'll talk to you while they're waxing you but it's not like I mean to a certain degree you know they're trying to distract you but they sound like they're interested in what you're talking about so they're like legit having real conversations with you it doesn't feel fake or phony you know what I mean and it's not all scary and stale and whatever like the decor in there beautiful and yes for people that are of age they have champagne and wine i think they have moscato something to get you a little tip tip before you get in there me personally i used to like to get tip tip while i got there like because nine times out of ten i had wine in my house so <laughs> 
I don't really need theirs. But don't go in there all sloppy drunk because that's not cute. And then you'll be all sweaty and Ew, you don't want to be that client, right? So anyway, fast forward to last year. Um, and now, really, um, now that I'm here in the DMV, I kind of knew that the price change was going to be a bit significant. Like, obviously, stuff down in Atlanta, usually in the southern area, is a lot more affordable than, you know, up in the east coast, upper northern region, right? So that just makes sense. So, of course, the price is going to be commensurate with the area. Totally get that. So I got up here and I started doing some research trying to find a new waxing home, right? And needless to say, it is 2017 and I got here in 2016, so I've been here like for a year and like two to three months here. Yeah, so I got here and I'm like, I have to find a new wax home because I'm one of those people that if I go somewhere, especially for some a service like that, I want to kind of keep it the same. I want to keep the same people, you know, as much as possible for those type of things. So, obviously I felt like I'll probably have to try out a couple of different places to find out which one I like the most, but I'm really not looking to try out more than three. <laughs> like, out of the three, somebody got to win. But anyhow, yeah, so my brother lives in the Waldorf area. I live in the Oxen Hill National Harbor area. So I'm, I've been looking for places like there, either in that area or in my area. And the thing that baffled me the most is that one, it seems like we don't know what Brazilians are. For instance, okay, let me say, let me let me give you an example. So I'm looking at the menu for one place, right? And it said Brazilian. And it said, uh, I think it said like 50 plus. And I'm like, okay, all right. That I expected that. All right, that makes sense, right? All right. You know, I'm going from 35 to 50. Maybe that's not too bad. But then right underneath the line that said Brazilian wax, it said extended Brazilian wax, 60 plus. Is it just me or what the hell is an extended Brazilian? Like, is that a real thing? Like, are we doing that right now? I thought everybody knew Brazilian wax went, meant everything on. So why are we talking about extended? Like, what's extended? Are you extending to my underarms or up my back? Like, what's happening? What happens in an extended Brazilian wax? How could you get any more extended than Brazilian? <laughs> I don't understand that. So, of course, that made me feel kind of, like, apprehensive to want to go to places because I started seeing that being kind of a common thing um, in a couple of different uh, salons, and I didn't understand it. And then there were other salons that didn't even offer or don't offer Brazilians at all. So I'm like, what in the world are the ladies doing out here? Like, are y'all getting Brazilians or are y'all getting just, like, regular waxes with the landing strip or... What's happening? Because I need everything gone. Like, if, if it's all going to be gone in the front, it got to be gone in the back, too. Like, that don't make sense to have all this all naked and then back there. Just, you don't want that. I don't want that. Like, ugh. anyhow. So, yeah, I don't know. Y'all tell me where y'all going. Like, where are you going? Now, being here in the National Harbor area, like on this side of the bridge, on the Maryland side, mm-mm. Because you got the MGM, you got the Westin, and you got the Gaylord. They all have spas and they all offer waxing services. But let me tell you, those uh, services cost like $85. If I was a tourist and I was just coming here to visit and I needed a wax, absolutely, I would go get it done because you need to get it done and whatever. But living here, I just can't see me spending, dropping a hundred dollars. Because again, you gotta tip them, right? I can't see me dropping a hundred dollars every time I need to get a Brazilian wax. That sounds insane. Like to go from 35 to 100? Really? I couldn't do that. This is doing too much, honey. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Y'all tell me where y'all are going because I'm really trying to find a new waxing home. Anyway, yeah. Let me know. That's really good. I think that's the end of my rant. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So since I haven't been going anywhere to get serviced, you know, to get my waxes or whatever, I've been using 
the Nair Bikini Cream. Now, I was very skeptical. I did not think this was going to work on me. I thought I was going to break out because, truth be told, I can't use razors. Using razors will cause me to instantly bump up. Like, razors and me don't get along. Um, oddly enough, I can use it on my underarms without bumping up. Like, every now and again, I might get one bump under there, but, and I think that's when I'm, like, shaving consistently, but, um, which I try to do in a winter time, not so much. Anyway, that was too much information. <laughs> don't judge me, okay? But, um, yeah, so I try not, I don't like to use a razor every now and again when it's like, you know, I don't have a lot of time and I just got to bite the bullet. I'll just hit it, you know, on the sides real quick and just kind of move it around. Because, like, you know, you're about to go to the beach or something or you're about to go to the pool and you need to get them little straggles. I might hit the razor with, you know, hit the straggles with the razor or whatever. But recently I found that this really does work pretty well for me. I will say the hair grows back so fast, though. Like I, you know, mentioned before, that's just what my hair does. Um, and it still itches like I shaved. But... What can you do? That joint, that nair, is freaking six dollars and some change. Like, why not do that versus paying, dropping a C note at the MGM or at the West End or the Gaylord to get a quick wax? Like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But yes, until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Mm -mm -mm.